What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a simple animation in Premiere Pro. Now, my application of choice for animating is After Effects because you have a lot more options. In this situation with this Android character, I originally animated in After Effects, brought it into Premiere Pro, and keyed out the background. And I have another tutorial where I explain how to key out a background, so I'll put the link in the description for that. But for this situation, I wanted to also add some animation to Premiere Pro. As you see, the character is dancing, and I wanted to add some animation animation so we can make it move around the screen. So first what I'm going to do is scale this down. And by the way, this was an image, then I animated in After Effects, and then I imported it into Premiere Pro as a video. So it's really a video here. It's a .move file. So then what we're going to do here is actually move the position. And if you see, if I move along the timeline, he's dancing to the right. So then what I would like to do is I would like to take one keyframe for the position. So I'm going to add a keyframe. Then we're going to move on a timeline like this, and I can actually move him over here if I want to like that. You can move him all around the x-axis like this. So what we'll do here is actually double click on this, and you see I'm moving him on the preview window here. So what's going on here is that Premiere Pro is allowing us to move him here manually, and then it's going to add a keyframe for us. So that's pretty cool with Premiere Pro. Now another thing that you can do with this is keep moving on the timeline, and then you can move him again. So if I move the marker to the beginning here, you see how he's moving along like that. And the reason why I'm recommending that you guys might want to do this is because when you're moving the coordinates here, it might get a bit tedious where you're continuously moving the character around, but you're also trying to figure out the numbers. So you can really do this either way. Then if I move the marker here, then you can start moving the coordinate with the x-axis here. Now if I move this along, and there's your simple animation. Now let's say I want him to go in reverse, which is a very simple thing you can do. I'm going to press Alt on the keyboard, and there's another way you can do this. You can press Command or Control C, and then Command and Control V. C is for copy, and then V is for paste. But what I'm going to do here is just press Alt on my keyboard, and we're going to make a duplicate of this character. Then what I'm going to do is right click on this, and select Speed Duration, and then select Reverse Speed. So what's happening is that this is going to go in reverse. And there you go. So it goes in reverse like that. So now he's just jumping to one side of the screen and then the opposite end of the screen. And then we press Alt again. And then while I'm selecting with my mouse, and then we're going to make a copy again. But then this time, the beginning of the animation. So we have one copy for the beginning of the animation and then just a reverse speed in the middle. So let's see what this looks like. Now, another thing you could do if you want this animation to be a lot quicker, we can actually select all these files, right click, select speed duration, and we can increase the speed. What I'm going to do is select 500, so it's going to be really fast. By the way, I'm just selecting the middle areas here and I'm pressing delete. And let's press the space bar and see what this looks like. And that's really quick. You can also slow it down by reducing the speed. So from 500, you can go 400 and so forth. You can even make it really slow and select like 50%, so it'll be very slow. But that's how you do some simple animation in Premiere Pro. I mean, a lot of the animation that I do is in After Effects, but if you import into Premiere Pro and you don't like the speed of what you're animating, or you see there's a problem with the animation and you could edit in Premiere Pro, this is a great application where you can do some very simple edits with animation. So there's different things that you can do. Right now, the situation with Premiere Pro is that it's for simple animations. You can do all the animating After Effects if you really want to get into animation. After Effects is a terrific application for that. But for some simple animations, Premiere Pro is a fantastic application for that. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, post your comments down below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.